Hello everyone. Welcome back to this online class. Today we want, uh, want us to look at uh, Fafian differential equations where you are given an equation and you are told the equation is integrable. It has a solution and you are asked to find the unknown function. In this case, our function is f of x. You know the equation is integrable. How do we find f of x? So given this equation, take note that if a fair differential equation in three variables, x, y, z, is said to be integrable if x dot curl x is equals to zero, where what you are calling x is pi plus q j uh, plus r k. Our p, so this can also be written as y z, because that's our p, y z i. Our q is uh, y times f of x minus x z, that is j, and finally, our r is x squared z minus x y and that is k. So first of all, we need to find cal x, cal x, so I'll take this up. So how do we get cal x? Cal x is the same as the cross product of the del operator and x, cross product of del and x. In fact, here I can use a different color to mean the cross product, cross product of the two, which you can also write in terms of the determinant. So this will be determinant. We'll have i, j, k, followed by partial partial x, the components of the del operator, partial partial y, partial partial z. And then the components of x, here we have y, z. Here we have y times f of x minus x, z. And the other, the other component is x squared z minus x, y. Determinant of that matrix. Let us reduce this to determinant of two by two matrices. I'm going to evaluate determinant along the first row. So the signs, they should alternate from positive, negative, in that order, the alternating. We start with positive i. So this equals to positive i delete the row and the column containing i. So we shall remain with partial, partial y, y f of x minus x z, then partial, partial z, x squared z minus x y, then minus j. Uh, when you delete the row and the column containing j, we remain with partial partial x, y, z. The other one is partial partial z, x squared z minus x, y. Then we have plus k. Delete the run the column containing k. We remain with partial partial x. Here we have y, z. Then partial, partial y, and then here we have y times f of x minus x, z. Now those are two by two matrices which we need to find their determinants. Let's start with the first determinant. You, you multiply this and then subtract the other product. So remember when you have a an operator, it must be written first. It must appear first because an operator 
operates on a function. So here we'll have now positive i, positive i. Now let's see. Here it means uh, whatever I'm bracketed, uh, I have bracketed, you need to differentiate that partially with respect to y. That should give us negative x. Then minus. Now differentiate this other one with respect to z. You see, that will give us another negative x. Then minus j. Here you differentiate with respect to x, partially, that is 2xz minus y. Then the other one, differentiate with respect to y, that is minus, no, with respect to z, that is negative y. Plus k, here you differentiate with respect to x, that will give us y times f prime of x minus z, then minus, now, this other one you differentiate with respect to y, that is z, of which if I simplify this, it can also be written as is equals to zero i, remember this is a minus and a minus, so that will be a plus, then here you can write as positive. Let's take the negative inside. So we'll have positive 2i minus 2xz j. And the other one we have plus y times f prime of x minus 2z k. That's what we have as curl x, which is a vector quantity. Now we need to find x dot curl x. And we equate that to zero because we are told that equation is integrable. So now let's find x dot curl x. The best way is to write these vectors in column form. Vector x in column form is uh, yz, the first component, followed by y f of x minus xz. And lastly, we have x squared z minus x y. That is the vector x in column form. So we are dotting this with curl x which we have found zero as the first component. Here we have found two y minus two x z. And here we have found y f prime of x minus two z. That should be equal to zero. Let us dot the two. yz times zero, that is zero. So this implies that uh, we have zero, which I don't even need to write. Okay, let me write zero plus y f of x minus xz multiplying two y minus two xz, then plus x squared z minus x y, this will multiply y f prime of x minus two z. And that should be equal to zero. Or if let me open the bracket on the left hand side, uh, we'll have two y squared uh, f of x minus, 2x, yz, f of x, minus 2x, y, z. And then I can see there's a plus 2x squared, z squared. 
that's the first this 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 term here when i open it then let's also work out this other term that will give us plus uh, y x squared z f prime of x y x squared z f prime of x minus 2 x squared z squared then i can also see a minus x y squared f prime of x plus i can write this on the next line because it's too long so I can have here plus that will be two x y z is equals to zero. So again, let me verify whether the computations are okay. Uh, y that is two y squared f of x. We have that. Then uh, minus two x y z times f of x. That's okay. Then we have negative two x, y, z, and then positive two x squared, z squared, that's fine. The other one is x squared, z times y, f prime of x, that is x squared, y, z, f prime of x, which we have here. Then the other one is uh, x squared, z times negative two, z, that is uh, negative two x squared, z squared. Then we have negative x, y squared, f prime, of x and then finally positive so that's okay so let, let's simplify because you see i have two x y z and this one one is negative another one is positive even here so what do we remain with so you write or two y squared f of x minus two x y z f of x plus y x squared z f prime of x minus x y squared f prime of x that should give us zero and so i can uh, collect like terms here uh, this can as well be written as or look at our equation you realize that y is common and even y is common let me write this as 2y squared minus 2xyz this is the coefficient of f of x then we have y x squared z minus x y squared f prime of x is equals to zero this can as well be written as or let me divide i can i can make the coefficient of f prime of x to be one so we can have f prime of x then plus two y squared minus two x y z divide by x squared y z minus x y squared this is not the coefficient of f of x and that should give us zero I have made the coefficient, I've made the coefficient of f prime of x to be one. The correction, instead of make, it is made. So are we able to simplify this one? Let me bracket it. Are we able to simplify this? Yes, because denominator, I can see x, y is common. What about numerator, y is common? So this thing can be written as, let me factorize numerator and denominator, or 
f prime of x plus what is common in the numerator it is 2y that's common into y plus not that's a minus change this to minus so that should be into y minus now it is x z because you have factored out 2y what about denominator anything common i can see x y is common so that we have x z minus y times f of x is equals to zero see uh, this thing can be written as it can also be written as if i factor out the negative i can get this f prime of x minus uh, 2y into xz minus y. I am factoring out the negative. You take it here so that we get that. Over xy into xz minus y times f of x. And this one should give us 0. So you see x, z minus y will cancel with this other one. Even the y will cancel. So that this equation cannot be written as f prime of x minus uh, 2 over x, f of x is equals to 0. This equation is separable. It is also linear in f of x. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can solve that equation as a separable ODE or a linear ODE. Let me solve it as separable equation. Remember, when you write f prime of x, it's the same as writing df, df of x, dx. That's f prime of x minus 2 over x, f of x is equals to zero separate the variables so this can as well be written as d f of x over f of x is equals to two over x dx i have separated the variables and so the next step is to interpret to get both sides. On the left hand side, we are going to get natural log of f of x. On the right hand side, you get 2 lin x. And don't forget to write a constant C of integration. Maybe you can call it lin C. That's a constant of integration. So that if you apply the laws of logarithms, we are going to get uh, ln of f of x. That should be a bracket, f of x. I'm going to change it. Ln of f of x is equals to ln of x squared times c. Remember the third law of logarithm, this will be the power of x so it becomes x squared and then now when you take exponential on both sides we are going to get f of x is equals to c times x squared if you are given a certain condition that must be satisfied then that will help you find the value of the constant c so when f of x is equals to any constant times x squared, then the given uh, Fafian differential equation will be integrable. C can be any constant. It's an arbitrary constant. It can be 2, 3, etc. So thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is Professor Francis O'Gage. When you go to the YouTube search, uh, type there Prof. Francis O'Cage and you'll find me right there. 
next time when we meet, we look at other problems in partial differential equations. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and share this video. Bye-bye.